So I have decided to come down to downtown Knoxville. It's a Tuesday night, so there's not a lot of people out and about, which is sort of a good thing um, because I don't have to worry about trying to get around a lot of people. But I thought I would stay downtown tonight and take some pictures, um, both of the Christmas lights and uh, using the 28 to 70 F2 to see just how good of a bokeh or bokeh or whatever. I say bokeh. Um, how good of a bokeh I can get. And I'm also getting some pictures of this tree over here sort of off to one side with the street going to get some car lights coming by. We'll see how that goes as well. So it's just now really starting to get dark. And I have to say that even handheld at 1 250th of a second at F2, I have plenty of light. Now that's gonna change obviously. Uh, so I have put my settings most of the way over to um, aperture priority. So I have it at F2 and I have my ISO on auto so that hopefully it will allow the shutter speed some lee uh, leeway there. But I also have it on the tripod now from probably most of the rest of the night. So it's not really going to matter. But uh, it's beautiful down here. I always like coming downtown Knoxville to see the Christmas lights. So let's go see what they look like. I started off before I did anything with Boca. I started off with the uh, ice skating rink and I, I caught a few pictures that I really liked. I had set my camera here to manual and I had, well actually I, I may have set it to uh, shutter priority, but I set it at a thousandth of a second, which is what I used for basketball in my last video. And while it was still daylight, that worked out just fine. When I came back later and it had turned into night, I didn't think to reset those settings because I could have gotten by, you know, this is not fast break basketball. This is pretty slow moving ice skating. Um, and so when I came back and I had something like this, this is the same kid who fell down. But if you look, you can see, I mean, I've already, I've already gone in here and done quite a bit of uh, noise reduction this is sort of where it started um, and and at 12,800 it's just impossible for me to get tack sharp once you take the noise out everything just sort of becomes blurred together and I don't like those shots now maybe if I had something like topaz to denoise the picture that might be better the other thing I realized about taking uh, photographs like this is that even though they're moving kind of slow, because they're all bunched together, you don't get a clear shot until the very last minute. And so a shot like this one, let's zoom back, whoop, let's zoom back out again. A uh, shot like this one, I had, I was watching this man and I had him in focus, turned out great. Um, and I didn't really pay attention to the woman on the left. And I really wish I had been focusing on her because the, sh the shirt is really interesting to me. And it would have been better to have had her in focus in the front rather than him in focus. And this, this is just, um, you know, not having done this much and, and not really knowing where I'm going with all this and just learning. Uh, just some things that sort of uh, stood out to me as I went through the pictures that I had. I had a few that turned out pretty good. And, and I'm, I'm pleased with this picture because it's in focus, but I'm not pleased with it because I'm focusing on the wrong thing. Um, and then, uh, in addition, I did some uh, car trails. And so I, I watched a video. In fact, I watched several videos on how to deal with, with uh, car trails. And uh, I settled on one from Serge Ramelli um, that was really, really simple to follow. So let me, let me throw my original images up into Photoshop and just walk you through how this picture uh, was put together. Here is uh, the original images that I took. Now I'd set up here at this tree. It was just advantageous for me. It wasn't really planned that there was a Starbucks across the street. And, you know, I'm kind of a fan of Starbucks. So it turned out nice. And the other thing that went in my favor was that nobody moved the cars on the other side of the road. So that was nice. 
Uh, but you can see, and I, I was working at um, two or three seconds here, and depending on the car that went by, um, you could get a little bit of movement. Now, this one I could have been pleased with, I suppose. But um, So what I did was I just took all of these pictures. Uh, let me get um, all of those and that one, I think, is it. And I, whoops, I edited this in Photoshop as layers. And with anything, even if you're on a tripod, one of the things that you'll want to do is go ahead and auto align these layers because the, just the simple fact of pushing the shutter button will move this just slightly. So I'm going to auto align the layers real quick. Um, and I have to say that I, I just finally, after a year and a half, two years, I finally upgraded the RAM in my computer so that I could actually edit video. I've been running on eight gigabytes of RAM for forever and uh, I'm at 64 now, so I feel much better. So I've auto aligned those layers and I'm just going to turn off all of the layers. You can see that after you auto align them, it's gonna need to be trimmed up a little bit. The edges are showing uh, some areas that don't have anything. So we'll start with these two pictures. This is the base image. This is the other one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this blend mode to screen. And what screen does is it works on anything in the image that's light. And so once I've done that, now you'll see that, um, you know, it, it lightened it up quite a bit. So I hit uh, on my Mac, Command L, probably Control L on a PC, and using uh, levels, I just brought that back down again where it was kind of where everything else was. And then on this top image, I hit Option and the mask, and that brings up a black mask. And if you remember in Photoshop, black conceals, white reveals. So I came over here and got a brush on white, and then I just brushed in the other light that was there. And then I did the same thing to the next image. I turned it on. I went to screen. I pulled up levels. I darkened it up just a bit again. And then set up a mask and drew in. You can see it's bringing in more light. And I just continued to do that all the way through. I'm not going to do them all, but it, it wound up with, uh, by the time I was done, I wound up with this image right here, which I really, really liked. And so, you know, it, it, it might have been. I wouldn't have had to take so many pictures if I had been able to get a longer stretch of road and was taking a six or seven second uh, video or uh, still shot. But at, at two seconds, you can see I only have from the edge of one building to the tree. And you've got to time it pretty close. Otherwise, the light stops before you get to the tree. So these were the things that I captured, and uh, we'll close out with some of the other things I did along with some bokeh. And uh, we'll also close out with some piano music from my brother Steve, who passed away several years ago, but he made a Christmas album. And so I'm just going to close out with one of his Christmas songs and wish you all a very Merry Christmas.
Thank you for visiting my channel. If you have stuck with me this far to the end of this video, please hit subscribe if you haven't done already. Hit the little bell icon to make sure that you don't miss any videos that are coming out. Starting in 2022, I will be putting videos out every week. Uh, I've been trying to do it at least every other week through 2020, but starting in 2022, I will be posting videos every week. And if you can hit subscribe and the little bell and leave me a comment, I know it's a lot to ask, but everything that you do helps my videos become more visible in the search results. And I appreciate it all. So until next time, enjoy the coffee.